hello everyone welcome and welcome back to another video tutorial here i'll be showing you how to create a motion blur effect here in coral draw all right it's very simple and very very easy to do so without any further ado let's begin so these are the um elements we're making use of these 3d social media icons we'll make use of them for the effect here so let's jump right in all right so to do so let's create a frame here so you double click on the rectangle to here and you apply a few color white or any color of your choice and so um, we power clip this inside this area let's click then power clip into this area then you edit this power clip so now here's how to achieve it so let's duplicate this right click let's uh, drag this and right click to create a duplicate so you place this strategically depending on how you want it so you let so this is how i want mine to be so you can place yours depending on how creative you can be so now to achieve the blur effect here's what to do I'm making use of the Coral Draw 2020 so we don't need to um, convert to bitmap so we'll just go to effects then under blur we select motion blur but if you're making use of um, let's see Coral X8, X7 and the rest I think um, you have to convert to bitmap, bitmap first convert to bitmap then um, OK then you can have access to the blur effect but in this case you don't need to convert to bitmap but if you're making use of the other versions lower ones so you follow the process I just illustrated you convert to bitmap first then you go to objects and you select blur but this time no need to convert to bitmap you just select this icon you go to effects under effect you go to blur under blur you go to motion blur so you can adjust to your satisfaction all right so um i think all these things are okay so this is a preview of how it will be so if you are satisfied with it then you click on okay same thing applies to this one here effects blow then a motion blow so this is it you can increase it you can adjust it to your satisfaction so a preview is here so you just make sure you click on this area preview so you can see how it is and you click on I'm satisfied with this so I click on OK then um let's copy this first then um, you go full the same process blow motion blow then let's increase this one more so it take a little while then you click on ok alright this might take a little while so I want to achieve the blow effect here in coral draw so this one seems to be different from the rest so Remember we copied it, so we just paste it on top, Ctrl plus V. So if you see, it has somewhat like a, a glue here. So it was done on purpose. So depending on how creative you can be, you just um, achieve the motion blur effect here. So you can add a background here to lighten up the effect so you just copy this go to this place then edit then you paste ctrl plus v then shift page down or you select a click on this area here so this is it the motion blur effect then you can continue with your design so let's can also be achieved with this 
icon two. Let's make use of this icon two. So let's follow the same process. Double click to draw um, a box on the drawing page. Then we give it a few color white. Move outline. Right click on this area or you come to this area here and select none. So per clip this right click or you go to objects then um power clip place inside them see this arrow power clip here then you edit so depending on how creative you can be so just place this strategically may not be that much so you duplicate this and reduce the size So you can make a bigger one here. This is just my choice. So follow the same process. Like I said, if you're making use of versions like the X8, X7, or probably X3, you have to convert to bitmap first. But if you're making use of versions like um from 2020, 2019, or 18, I don't think you need to convert to bitmap. So there's no need to just go to effects and blur and motion blur. So let's adjust our satisfaction here. Click on OK. So this is OK with me. And follow the same process. Blur. So we do same for this. So we just adjust to our satisfaction here. So you click on OK. Alright, follow the same process. Motion blow. So let's make this the blow more on this. So we'll click on OK. So sometimes it does take a while to effect. So once you're done, you can just so this is it. This is just to add um, beauty to your design here. So you can copy this background and add it there to lighten it up. Ctrl plus V shift page down to move to back of the layer so this is it you can just play around and place the emojis um, strategically all right guys um that is it on how to achieve the motion blur effect here in coral draw all right if you found this video helpful do what to hit on the subscribe button turn on post notification bell to get notified when we upload new videos and don't forget to like share and comment on our videos thank you for watching and see you on the next video tutorial